Hello and good morning to another Mountain View Softwash video. We are here in Carr, Colorado, which is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. We're about 30 minutes just north of Fort Collins, just to kind of give you some bearings. Uh, we're at a repeat customer's house. Uh, they called me last week and said, can you come out and redo the front of our house? And let me show you what we're dealing okay. with here. So this area is not too bad, but there's re been a reoccurring theme out here. And that is of flies. They get a lot of them. So this was perfectly pristine the last time we left out here. And now it's just been completely caked again. How gross is that? And the problem is, is they have no terrain in front of them. So when it's hot and windy, all the flies make their way <laughs> to the front of this house. So this is what we're dealing with today. We've got a lot of nasty cleanup. Now, we did do a full soft wash on this before. Removed all this with some light scrubbing. Took a long dwell time, but we're essentially able to get it all off and looking really good, which we'll do today again. But I just wanna show you what we are up against today. Look how nasty that is. Wow. So, we're going to fire up our rig, throw on some Terra wash, some green wash, and a little bit of sodium hypochlorite because it'll help cut through that. Uh, I just removed that four months ago and those birds are so quick to come back and jump on that. We're not doing the bird removal today, but we're gonna address all this nasty flies. So the customer did comment, I asked her, I said, um, so we did restore on this, on the front of this. So when we did this last time, we washed it, cleaned it all up, put our restore product on there. And she said that helped a lot. She was able to come out here, rinse it down, do a light scrub. She said it came off really nicely, but obviously after a few more months, everything's back again. So without further ado, we're gonna get this going. Got the truck all fired up here. Let me show you one more time what chemicals we're gonna be using on this today. And we decided to go with a little bit more aggressive Terra wash. We're gonna put that on a two. It's a good emulsifier. It'll really attack those fly guts. A little bit of our green wash and just to kind of add a little bit more clean power to, we're gonna pump that up with 1% uh, of our toner 12. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna leave all the other stuff off. She doesn't care about the rain scent. Got the DC rinse going here. And we're gonna go ahead and tackle some of these fly guts. So I'll show you a little bit as we go, but most importantly, just wanna show you the after of how well our Terra Wash works to tackle these organic, not only the organic growth, which I don't think there's much on here, but most importantly, uh, the fly guts and all the crap that comes with it. We got a little, little bird poop down here in the front from them perching up here. So I'm just gonna do a full wash on this front end again, get it nice and clean for winter. And uh, I'm sure we'll probably revisit back sometime next year when things start going again. So here we go. All right, just getting some soap fleeted out of the line here. Got our uh, cleaning cocktail. Ready to go. We're just putting a nice coat, making sure we get some good coverage. You can see the runoff right here. That's pretty much it. Just a light coat. We're gonna let that run down. We got some spots down here. We're gonna hit one more time. Doing this uh, with one hand today, not easy to do. Holding a camera and trying to work the wand. So bear with me as we go through this. I'm just gonna kind of show you. Uh, if you've seen our videos before, you know that our application process is pretty light. Um, letting that dwell. Like I said, I got some spots down here. I'm going to retouch up as soon as I turn the camera off, but we're going to let that sit on there, eat away at these organic poop stains from the flies. And I can already see that these are going to get moved off. So we'll do some light brushing. And today I got the siding brush out. Now, normally it's about an inch thicker. It comes out about right there. So 
If you are watching Jesse Cage with Soft Wash Systems, guess what? I'm ready for another one of those. A recommendation of where I can buy one. I think I've seen these on Amazon, but we'll see if Jesse's watching. And if he is, I'll miraculously just have one of these show up at my shop. <laughs> see if he just mails me one. Okay, anyways, just letting that dwell. I'm gonna work my way from the left side of the house all the way to the west side of the house. And uh, one thing I learned last time I was out here is dwell. So we're gonna be patient. Last time I was a little frustrated. I started over here, I was working my way around. We applied it, took it off too soon. Just wasn't getting the, the movement off the, uh, off the siding that we were looking for. And I just kind of learned patience, patience, patience. So we're gonna let that dwell up. And let it do its job. So stay tuned for more. We're gonna keep working our way around this house. All right, pretty much knocked out the whole front of this house. Just wanted to get a good coat on there and start letting that dwell. Uh, this side's already just from the spray. I even scrubbed that yet. You can see a big difference from the time I shot that. So it's knocking that out pretty good. One thing I've learned about Terra Wash <clears throat> that uh, applied properly and given the right amount of dwell time, it is amazing stuff to work with. Doesn't get absolutely everything, but the stuff that it works really good on, it uh, it kills it. So we're just gonna let that continue. Um, and then I'll start scrubbing. Pretty light scrub, not too, too worried today. It's not gonna be extremely physical. Just wanna make sure I get movement uh, on all the stuff we're trying to remove. So that's gonna come next. Um, and then I'll probably just come back and hit these windows we got a lot of chemical on them because I've got a lot of stuff on the frames that I got to work around. So we're going to do that and uh, we'll show you the after here real shortly. Whenever possible, I'm trying to go with the grain. Sometimes on these higher areas, it's not very possible. So we have to kind of work our way down, but most importantly, just making sure we get a lot of coverage and especially under the, the lap board there. And again, it doesn't take much. I'm just giving a light scrub, just enough to move all your stuff I'm trying to move off the board here. You know, things like that just need a little bit of agitation. So the one thing I did notice is that this has been a lot easier since we put Restore on here. It's a protective barrier. It's kind of like a sacrificial barrier, uh, what we're working with here. So it's coming off a lot easier than it was the first time I did it. I remember the first time we did it, it was a lot of scrubbing. And had, like I said before, I had to learn to let the product dwell a lot longer than I thought it should. Uh, but this is, you know, these are just moving really easily now. And I think a lot of it's attributed to that Restore product we put on there. Which, after I'm done here, I'll go back and I'll, re I'll do that again. Apply a light coat of Restore on there, and we should be good for the next six months or so.
All right, guys, so we're all done here doing the soft, full soft wash on just the front part of this house. And as you can see, with no surprise, that's completely clean. Got all the fly guts and poop, whatever those guys were leaving. Got that all cleaned up. So looking pretty good. Our, uh, again, the terror wash did a number on this. As you saw, I did a light brush. I just like to do that to get on the nooks and crannies. I probably could have let it dwell a little bit longer and just did a you know, quick rinse down on it. It would have been just fine. But I do like to kind of go the extra steps there and get as much out of those nooks and crannies as I possibly can. So that's what we did. Let's go take a look over here. Remember all the crud that was down there. It's fully clean now. Looking proper. So we got our line back over here. <clears throat> we're just letting this dry just a little bit. I think we're about ready to start, but we're gonna add some uh, restore on here again. Since we pretty much stripped it off during our, our soft wash process, I'm gonna put it back on. Like I said, uh, it does help keep things a little cleaner. Uh, the com like I said, the customer commented that when she came out here and did a kind of a, a light brush and a wash uh, about a month and a half ago, it all, uh, maybe about two months ago, it all came off pretty easily. But again, it's all caked on. She didn't have to deal with it. We're coming into winter here. So we're gonna take care of that for her. But we're gonna apply some Restore. This is just a light application, um, starting from uh, top down. I'll try to film just a little bit of that, but it's, um, you wanna go too thick on it, just wanna get a nice coat on it, let it dry, see how it looks. If we need a little another, another coat, we'll, we'll add another coat, but for right now, that's all we're gonna do here. So let me get the tripod set up, and I'll show you guys a little bit about that. All right, catching a little wind here, so the camera's kind of wobbling around my tripod, but again, we're just gonna apply some Restore. We're just gonna go from the top down, let the product kind of work its way down to the bottom here, and we'll check to see what kind of coat we got on there. So you can see, you got a little bit of runoff here because everything kind of comes down this corner here and comes down. I'll move that so it doesn't pull up on us. But um, basically just want to, like I said, want to get a nice application on here. Got some nice drip. It's not a whole lot of product on there, but it's a good enough coat. I think it's going to be just fine. And we'll let that um, dry out. We'll come back, hit the windows with final wash. That'll remove any residuals we have, any spray over I had from the restore. But for the most part, really happy how this came out. Again, round two on this house. I'm sure we'll probably be out here a bunch more times, maybe a couple more times next year as well. So that's how we put restore on, real light application. I don't think we're gonna need a second one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all the way down to the other side of the house. Alrighty guys, all wrapped up here at this uh, refresh job. I say refresh because we uh, already did this once before. We just came out here and uh, refreshed the whole front of this house. It had a lot of fly guts and poop and all sorts of fun stuff on there. But at the end of the day, we got it all off. We did a full wash down on it. 
uh, did complete windows as well, just on the front. Got all the windows looking nice and proper. Uh, and then we did Restore. And again, Restore is our leave-on conditioner. The client actually loves this stuff. She loved the way, the way it looks. It's got a nice kind of matte finish to it. And then the most importantly, like I said, uh, she was able to clean this just with a little bit of water and some light scrubbing in areas that needed it. She said it came right off. So she's a big fan of it. It's glad to hear. Uh, it is a great and wonderful product. So as you can see, we're all nice and wrapped up, nice and clean. It's got a beautiful feel to it. Smells wonderful. But most importantly, got it all cleaned up for her. So again, low pressure, no high pressure needed. Just to let the chemicals do all the work. Terra Wash is a wonderful product. I love using it. I remember uh, when I did this house about five months ago, I was terrified because I wasn't too sure if Terra Wash was going to be able to remove the amount that was on here. If you can go back to the start of this video and show you uh, what was on here before, just add like 50 times to that. It was caked. And this, I mean, the green was barely noticeable. It was had so much on there. Uh, I think I have a video out there somewhere. I'll have to see if I can find some photos of that. But uh, anyways, guys, just a quick one here. Thanks for joining me. I'd love to hear some more comments. I'm trying to get better and better uh, at doing these videos and trying to put in there what people are interested in. Uh, most importantly, these are from my customers as well. I send them these links and say, look, this is kind of what we do. It's our process. This is the breakdown, how we tackle certain homes. In this case, this was just addressing a lot of uh, organic bug stuff mostly flies and their guts and their poo it was it's just crazy to me i still get baffled but it's fun to do you need to come here and you see it and uh, you're able to get it all off it's pretty it's pretty satisfying so anyways once again if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us mountain view soft wash our business line is 970-400-1342 you can also call and text me on my direct cell number as well and i'll leave that into the description and I promise, walk around video coming soon. Just have not had the time, been pretty busy getting some jobs lined up and completed. So, alrighty, have a great one, guys. Bye.